Welcome back to the channel. In this new video, I'm going to show you how to set quickly a web server in order to store some useful information from a query string or other kind of information such as user agent or IP address. In this case, the IP address will be a little bit restricted because I will use ngrook. ngrook is a very useful program to quickly uh, test a web server or other kind of services, uh, also reverse shell is a reverse proxy that creates a secure tunnel from a public endpoint to a locally running web services. But this will be the last part of the video, so now let's focus directly on the PHP program. I will call it the file logger PHP, which will handle all the logic of the web server. To start, we need to uh, add at first the uh, question mark PHP uh, to allow the comp comp compiler to read the PHP program. Mainly we will use uh, three variables, the IP address, the user agent, and last the query string. In this case, these are the three variables that we will use. We can retrieve these values through the globally uh, variable server, which is available on a web server on PHP. If you are curious to know more about this, you can search server on Google and you can find this manual in PHP, which will enumerate all the indices available in this array. Not all of them are available at the moment of runtime in this example. And also in this manual, there is not, pre is not present the HTTP user agent, but I will show you how to retrieve it. Mainly we will use uh, the query string and we will use also the remote address. Now let's focus on the program. Here we need to add the remote remote address and in this part we need to add the HTTP user agent and in this last part we can add the uh, query string Okay, and um, now I think with the variable we are okay. We just need to insert even here the server. Okay, and also here the server. And we are okay. I want to add just this uh, if function just for this demonstration. With the function is set, if the query string is present. If the query string is present, there will be an action. Otherwise, nothing will happen. So uh, let's uh, create also a file where we will uh, store all the information retrieved. I will use fopen and I will use the um, logger.txt file. I will write on it in a append mode. In this append mode, it's possible to write new lines uh, without uh, overwriting the previous one already present on the file. So with the variable right now we are okay. We just need to uh, use the function fwrite. In this fwrite, uh, we need to pass as first argument the file and the second argument the, the strings that we want to write on it. So in this case, I will write remote address and I will also add the variable IP that we previously created and I want to add also a new line character just to improve the readability. Next we can uh, add the user agent and the variable user agent user agent and uh, I will also add a new line here and add another fwrite function just to improve the readability for this demonstration. In this final part, we will add the, the most important thing that we need to create in this demonstration in this file. So let's add the query string. Okay, 
the dollar because it's a variable and to conclude we can also add here another new line character just to improve the readability and f close use we'll use f close to close the the file as for this demonstration i will add the either function this either function will add a location either that will redirect the request to another website just to have a decent response because for now i didn't create an index file or an hm file that will uh, give a response so i think this is all for this program let's close it and let's see uh, with the php dash l if there is any error on it there is no error so we can use uh, the php dash capital s localhost 8000 8, to uh, run this web server and as you can see right now this is running so we can go here and see that there is no response also there is no action because at the moment there is no question mark so i want to show you that the file even is not being created so if we add the question mark and a variable we can see that this will be written in the file but we still can we st we still can improve a little bit this uh, program because the URL encode is not uh, handled at the moment, as you can see. So, in fact, if we run this, this will be logged. And if we want to handle also this kind of action, we can insert here the where where the code function and with this with this addiction we can see that uh, now this part will be handled now let's do the final part uh, now let's let's leave this open the final part we can use and group dp8000 and in this case this server will be available in in the internet the first part that we need to do is this to visit the website but once we click on it we are able to to see all the logic behind i want to show you just one thing because the problem is that in this way we are not able to see the remote address that is triggering the request if you are curious to see it within root, you need to look here and here you can see the headers, the raw request, the binary request but this is just a demonstration if you, are, if you want to use it in a web server as I don't know Amazon Web Service or Azure or other kind of you will uh, get directly the IP address that's all for the video See you in the next one.